think looking back um, at 2020, um, I think at times it felt like we were living in a time warp waiting for the virus to disappear. And we hid behind our masks, we went remote and the virus didn't go away. And so there was a realization that this wasn't a pause, but the camera was still rolling and it meant we just had to all think differently. So realizing that international schools are moving, I mean, education is moving into a whole new area. Um, being mindful of remote working, you know, do we control what we do um, with our teams, you know, how much time they spend on Zoom or on their, on their computers, but also learning how incredibly innovative we can all be online and how vitally important it has been to maintain engagement um, with our community at every level. We managed to have alumni events thanks to Zoom, but we also learned how much more difficult it is to build relationships with donors without in-person meetings. And if I thought about what I would do differently, I think I would definitely go over and above to ensure as much of what we planned to do actually took place, but just differently. And I think looking back at 2020, the case community has showed some incredible ways to hold events, auctions, and keep fundraising front and central. So I think looking ahead to 2021, talking about our takeaways as a team and just recognizing our core businesses is, is education and, and how important it is to keep that message. You know, education is something that people can invest in. It's not like a stock market, as I was saying, you know, the value doesn't go down. So our goals for 2021 are to try and use every tool and more in the book to ensure that we maintain enrollment and funding for the school. But we also want to go beyond and engage with alumni and donors in an even more meaningful way. Um, and bringing fundraising and our fundraising strategy into the core activities of our school to integrate advancement as fully as possible into the school calendar. On a more personal note, I see 2021 as a year to sort of readjust my expectations of what being globally mobile means. I'm from Scotland, I live in France, but my network of friends and contacts goes from Japan to Brazil. And I think not being able to travel has been one of the biggest challenges of 2020. And for us as an international school, the impact of COVID on the globally mobile family is something that we're really going to have to integrate into our um, goals and the way, the way we work um, in advancement. So I think this year what we're planning to do differently is obviously adapting to what we learned from last year in terms of um, how we do events, um, thinking about how we work remotely um, and adapting our engagement style so that we do, you know, judge, okay, how much solicitation? Are we going to use email? Let's go back to the phone call. I think there's a lot of back to basics that we need to integrate into um, our advancement. We, we've, you know, advancement moved into the online realm and the emailing and things like that. But I think essentially, um, particularly if, if the year continues to be a year of semi-lockdown or full lockdown, I think really thinking about um, that sort of approach to meaningful engagement um, with our donors and our, our alumni community. Um, I think taking forward the learnings from 2020 and tweaking them um, and really, you know, keeping going. I mean, th the message is there. Education is a worthwhile investment. So I think we have to, we have to make sure our community understand that.